This is a quick overview video of an introduction to logarithms activity. So start off by doing that multiplication um, with pencil and paper only. Uh, pretty tough. Try in two minutes. Most people can't except this person here if you click on it. Uh, so in the past we had things like mechanical calculators, version from the 50s, 60s. I have one of these in my classroom. Uh, see if you can work out how it works. Good knowledge of powers of 10 required. Or you could use log tables, talk to anyone at school in the 1960s, see if they've still got theirs or their slide rule. You're going to learn how to use those. Uh, once you think you've learned how to use it, see if you can work out that answer using the log tables and then use your powers of 10 to work out that extension on the same question. You might be interested how on earth somebody worked out all these log tables without a calculator. It was a long and arduous process. Click on this link to take you further down for information on that. Okay, that's great, but we do have electronic calculators today, so so why do we need logs still? Uh, you're going to copy and paste this data, and um, you're going to put it in some sort of graphing package. Uh, I've done it here in GeoGebra. And then when I try and plot that, why is it that, oh dear, only one point appears. Where are all the others? might want to think about it. Think you understand logs? Time for a test. Go through these quizzes, see if you've got a grasp of what they mean. It's a new function that we'll be using in solving equations later as well. Don't forget to mark yourself at the end and get a bit better than I did. Applications, there are lots of them. Uh, this is just a starting point. You can investigate this for a number of lessons, really. Um, why do many graphs from the fantastic Gapminder website on human well-being indicators uh, have a log scale? So we can see that x-axis log scale, but the y-axis isn't. Why is that? Um, then you might want to look at some sound meters. There's some great apps for recording the sound in different environments both on Android and uh, on iPhone. The Victor scale, great apps for measuring earthquakes and keeping track of them all around the world. And once you've got this, you decibel readings, you might want to use the decibel formula to work out the intensity of different sounds and see the effect of that on your concentration or on your hearing levels of different people. Um, you might want to, is it true that listening to music makes you study better? Uh, maybe shoot yourself some mental math questions at different decibel levels and see if that is the case. And then of course there's other graphs and many many graphs where you'll find log scales are used, can you work out why? If you fancy digging a bit deeper, take a look into the history of logs and how they were first calculated. Over to you.